You definitely don't need art school nor a studio to create your art, but I will tell you it has forever changed my art for the better. Being in the art school environment has forced me to think about art and create art 24-7. And I probably wouldn't be painting this painting if I wasn't in art school. So I painted this without having any reference images, which means I'm just using my mind to create the visual image. And something really interesting is happening because I'm using my mind. No one is going to be able to replicate my image. I've had it happen to me once before that I used a reference image from the internet. Then I saw another artwork using the exact same reference image and I felt like all of a sudden my artwork wasn't that special anymore because anyone could do that anyone could use a reference image and learn how to draw from a reference image but it's coming from you when you're using your mind to create something and that's what is interesting to me to create something from your own mind in the sense that no one else will be able to do that and that is why it's special it's um, personalized there's a word in Icelandic that means einstakur this is instact I think using reference images is a great way to do art, especially when I don't understand my subject so well. But I've been taking model drawing classes and I feel my sense for the human form getting stronger and stronger. With that, I wanted to explore what it looked like to use no reference image, to paint only from my mind. Plus, in this digital age, I feel less and less control. I Google an apple and I get the most popular image whom everybody is given. Everything is reproduced like a remake of a Disney film. And I wanted to see what I could make stepping away from this digitally influenced era. I have been having such a hard time to uh, start loving this painting. I have been working on it so much that it's been difficult to see the beauty in it and I have actually started to hate this painting almost because I've been just intensely working at it. Today is the overview where I showcase this painting and I don't really feel like it's ready and I can't do anything about it, I just have to show what I've done and that's like one of the more difficult parts about being an art student. You, you, you're constantly working at something and you constantly have to create something even though if you hit something you have to show it because you have to show what you've been working on and I feel like that's one of the most difficult parts. The guys, my classmates, they went exactly where I wanted them to go and I am just really excited and I want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next one. Okay, bye bye.